What was your school's incident? A few kids stole a propane tank and locked themselves in a garden shed to sniff the gas. Then one of them decided to light a cigarette, blowing the shed to smithereens. Fortunately nobody died, but some of them had to be hospitalized for a long time. Super weird story, but some random Facebook account popped up, threatening to shoot up the school if this one girl didn't fess up for something she had done. No one knew who it was, and the girl allegedly had no idea what she was supposed to fess up about. The threats continued, and the Facebook account started posting naughty videos slash pictures she had taken, censoring the nudity, but giving people an idea that he had intimate contact with the girl. The school ended up going on Christmas break like 3 days early, while the school district tried to figure how to move forward. There was a town hall meeting that a parent brought a gun to, which created quite a stir. Feds kept looking into it. Arrests were made, but each student was released on lack of evidence. The Facebook account progressed to basically taunting authorities that couldn't catch him. I think the height of it, my wife and I were at Red Robin one night, and the account posted that it heard the girl was at the mall across the street, and that a lot of people were about to die. From Red Robin, we watched the authorities converge onto the mall. The girl wasn't there, and neither was a guy with weapons of any sort. The Facebook account ceased activity at a certain point after an admission that he was some guy in Minnesota or something that just picked a random school, girl, and town to fuck with. A few months ago, an arrest was finally made, and it was some dude in California. But man, it took forever for them to crack that case. Teacher in the middle of class gets a call. His whole family, wife, two daughters, and dog all killed in a freak car accident. He returned a year later to teach, but he was never the same. You could see it in his eyes. Heartbreaking. Went back to the school years later, and he was still there. Same great guy. Anyway hope you're doing well teacher man. Student was sleeping with a teacher. Parents sent student to another school. As soon as student turned 18, transferred back to our school. Student and teacher eventually married and have kids. This was in the early 90s, and I think they are still together. Edit. It wasn't Mary Kay Letano. Edit 2. Also wasn't President Macron. Male teacher. Female student. Canadian school. I think the student was around 15 when it started, and the teacher was mid to late 20s. Kid brought a gun to school in middle school. School went into lockdown while the kid was going through the halls banging on doors. Planned on shooting people, but brought the wrong bullets for his gun. Ran outside and got tackled by police. Now he works at McDonald's and does tattoos from a kid. Edit. Kid was adopted from Russia. His actual plan was to go to Russia after school to kill his real parents. Only someone bullied him during the day, causing him to grab the gun from his locker and start wrecking havoc. School trip to Russia in the early 90s. The maths teacher beat up a taxi driver. All the kids ran riot. They stayed in a hotel that had one of the floors sealed off, which turned out to be an knocking shop. One of the students fell in love with a hooker, went mad and had to be drugged by a doctor to get him to the airport when they were leaving. Our school never did international trips again. Edit. I just woke up to see this comment took off. Thanks for gold stranger. Little more detail we were from Ireland, our maths teacher was a black belt in taekwondo, taxi driver tried to scam him, and then pulled a knife on him, two senior students joined in. Ages of students from 14 to 18. It was a complete shit show of a trip. A few people don't believe this story, which is unfortunate. But it did happen I'm afraid. O'Connell's CBS School Dublin Ireland 1992 slash 3. I went to a military boarding school. A kid, A, who got into Akla, I Ike, with a scholarship got into a fight with this other kid, B, over A's girlfriend. A was dismissed from the school, which was a synonym for expelled. For whatever reason B was allowed to stay. After he received the news, A went around saying goodbye and giving hugs, then went to the top floor of a dorm during our free hours, and jumped headfirst to his death. It was very tragic and very hushed by the academy. When I was in primary school, for you know English that's 3 to 11 years old, there was an older kid, I say older, but he was just 11. Anyway, he arranged a great escape. The school playground linked to the teacher's car park through a big ass field we wasn't allowed on. From the car park you could climb a gate to get out. So, on the day of break time the kid sounded a whistle, no joking, like a war horn, and about 300 children sprinted across this field to freedom. 
some kids just running for the hell of it, some following out noble leader like me, teacher sprinted out, grabbing us and forming lines to stop us, about a dozen of us got through, and made it to the car park, but a few teachers were there having cigarettes, so they tried stopping us, I was caught meters from the gate, and saw all but one child hop it, the older guy, he was chased by the history teacher, but got back home, and spent the rest of the day playing video games. He's in jail for murder now. High school. A boy's dead body was found in a rolled up wrestling mat in the school gym. The town spilt in half over whether or not it was a freak accident or foul play. This was almost 5 years ago and it's still unresolved. A few people's lives have been ruined from false accusations and the victim's family can't find peace or the answers they want. Edit. Dang this post got big. To answer a lot of the questions on here. 1. I was senior at loans high at the time and I'll never forget where I was when I found out. Third block app statistics. 2. I'm not a detective. I just want the family to find peace and closure. And 3. Yes I stayed here and just graduated from VSU. It's crazy seeing how many locals commented. Kid had a brain aneurysm in class. A classmate performed CPR on him until the paramedics arrived. Was brain dead for a week before the parents let him go. It was the incident that got our school defibrillators. Edit. Obviously, a defibrillator wouldn't help a brain aneurysm. Most people only knew that he had stopped breathing and his heart had stopped. Edit 2. I'm aware that defibrillators won't help a stopped heart either. This was an incident that sparked the district's awareness that they were ill prepared for health crises like these. Even though a defibrillator is unhelpful in most cases for high school aged children. Most parents were satisfied to see the school taking some measures to prevent the death of children. Art teacher had a hidden camera in the girls' bathroom, and one of them found it. When the cops came he fled on foot, but they caught him. Edit, this blew up, so I'll include some more info that helps answer some questions. He had his own single stall bathroom in the art room that he would primarily let the girls use to change and slash use the bathroom after their pet class. So there was no mistaking whose camera it was when it was discovered. Two players on the football team led a third player into the woods to buy drugs, had a pre-dug grave, and killed him with a hammer and buried him. It was allegedly because the guy had raped one of their girlfriends, but I think it came out later that she had lied because she got caught cheating. One of the guys ended up turning himself in after the guilt got to him. It was pretty crazy though. Someone drew a swastika in shit on the wall of the bathroom. He was nicknamed Shitler. It was a fun year. The Third Reich. Some of these stories are shocking and unreal. Meanwhile, the only interesting thing to ever happen at my old school is that once a dog got inside and it was running up and down the corridors and everyone was petting it. I attended just a pretty small town school in rural Yorkshire, UK. Edit 1. This incident was primary school. I was in year 5 so it would have been in like 2001 or 2002 I was 9 at the time. The dog breed as far as I can remember was some kind of miniature Shetland sheep dog. It looked basically like a miniature lassie dog. Edit 2. Also forgot at secondary school our head teacher ran over her laptop in her car. This happened when I was in year 8, so would have been about 2006. Apparently it was an accident, but we never did get the full story on that one. Someone wasn't watching a special ed girl. She escaped the school and went missing for hours. We all went home 3 hours late and we had helicopters circling all around our school. They eventually found her dead at the bottom of a pond right next to our school. A kid took a bunch of magic mushrooms and ran around the halls at lunch in his undies. A horde of campus security and coaches were chasing him until they cornered him on the bed of someone's truck. They were at a standoff and the kid was yelling. Come any closer and the briefs come off. A coach managed to sneak behind the kid from another parked truck and tackled him off. Over Christmas break of my sophomore year in high school our principal was pulled with over twice the legal back. Instead of being immediately taken to jail as he should have been, he was escorted home. Over the next week he was on almost every local news station and even got a minute or two segment on CNN. Needless to say, the faculty didn't think it was a laughing matter, but the students found it hilarious and spent the remaining weeks of break having t-shirts made saying things like I partied with Dr. Siverson and lived good times. Thanks for watching. 
Be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to be entered into our iMac giveaway. Yeah.